Welcome to Electron Line. Our next video is going to show us how to find the x coordinate of the centroid of a circular cone. We've put the tip of the cone at the origin instead of the other way around. It actually makes it easier to figure that out, and so we'll make the adjustment at the end. But again, what we're trying to find is the position of the centroid in the x direction, which should be somewhere around there. The question is, how far away from the origin is that? And then what we'll do also is, how far away from the base will that be? So question mark is really the distance from the base to that point, and we'll figure that out by first finding it the distance from the origin. What we need to start doing is first taking a slice. So that's a small little volume slice, dv. The radius of that slice would be the height, would be y, from the x-axis to the top of that slice right there. If we, take a, if we take a look at what that slice looks like, it's something like this. That's our small little dv. The radius would be y. Therefore, the dv would be equal to pi times y squared times the thickness. And you can see that the thickness is actually a small little dx. Therefore, the dv will be pi y squared dx. The reason why we need that is because the equation to find the x-coordinate of the centroid is equal to the integral of the x-coordinate of each little slice. So the x-coordinate would be right there at a distance x away from the origin, right there and multiply times dv, and the whole thing divided by the integral of dv. Since this represents the volume of the right circle cone, which is equal to one-third the base times the height, we can then go ahead and plug in what that is equal to. Plugging in what we have in the numerator, that's the integral of x, the centroid of that smallest slice, the distance x away from the origin, times dv, and dv is pi times y squared dx divided by the volume of a right circular cone, which is one-half times the base. Since the big R represents the radius of the base, that would be pi r squared times the height h. Oop. It should be one-third, not one-half. One-third pi r squared times h. In the numerator, we have a y variable and an x, so we have to somehow find the x equivalent of y, or at least express y in terms of x, I should say that. How do we do that? Well, notice that the edge of the cone, if, if we just look at the very top edge, this looks like a straight line, and we can use the concept of y equals mx plus b. Now, in this case, since the tip is right at the origin, our b will be 0, and the slope will be the rise over the run. The rise will be the radius of the base r, and the run will be h. Therefore, we can write y as b equal to rise r over the run h times x, and we can replace y squared by this quantity squared. So y squared is equal to r squared over h squared times x squared, and that will go right in here in the integral in the numerator. This then becomes the integral of x times pi. Instead of y squared, we write r squared over h squared times x squared times dx, all divided by one-third pi r squared times h. To simplify things already a little bit, we have a pi here, we have a pi there, we have an r squared here, we have an r squared there, that makes it easier, and the h squared can come to the denominator, make that h cubed. And the one over third in the denominator, the three can go to the top, the x-coordinate of the centroid now becomes 3 times the integral of x times x squared. That becomes x cubed times dx divided by the 1 over h squared goes to the denominator. Multiply times h gives me h cubed. And the 1 third went to the top as a 3. Now we can integrate this. And the limits of integration, of course, goes from x equals 0 to x equals h. h will be the height of the cone, so we integrate from 0 to h from 0 to h, and this is equal to 3 times x to the fourth over 4 times h cubed evaluated from 0 to h. Now all we have to do is plug in h over here, and this becomes 3h to the fourth divided by 4h cubed. When plug in 0, we get 0, so we don't have to worry about that, and this simplifies to 3 fourths h. Be careful here, that is the x coordinate of the centroid of this circular cone in reference to the origin, but in reference to the base, it would be h minus that quantity. So therefore, we can write that x is equal to 
1 quarter h reference from the base. To repeat ourselves here, starting from the origin, we can see that the centroid is 3 quarters of distance from the tip of the cone to the base of the cone, but starting from the base, we can see that's 1 quarter distance from the base of the cone to the uh, cone to the tip of the cone. The procedure that we follow, we take a small little slice, we call that a small little dv. The radius of the slice in this case is y, so the dv would be pi y squared dx. We then have to find an expression for y, realizing that this is a straight line, y equals mx plus b, we can write y equals the slope times x, the slope is the rise over the run, r divided by h, and then we substitute that in for y squared here in the integral, and then the rest is just integration. That's how we find the centroid of a right circular cone.